sitting here with Jamie Claret, who is the owner of the amazing support company. Now, you used to be the PC surgery, didn't you? That's correct, yes. So, why the change? <laughs> Good question, and something I'm asked a lot. We used to be the PC surgery, and that was set up about nine years ago. And that was when I was a man driving around in a car with a screwdriver fixing Mrs Goldberg's computer. And it was a very good name, and I've loved the name, and it's worked very well for for me as a business. But we have moved on a little since then. And we mainly deal with, with B2B now, business to business. And the name brings up the same question every single time I go and meet a new client, which is, ah, the PC surgery. So I presume you have a little shop where I can bring my my son's computer to be repaired. Yeah, it does kind of conjure that image of queues of people in the waiting room all clutching their sick computers. Exactly. So um, we looked at different names and different brands and things like that, and I thought the best way to find out or get an idea for a good name would be to ask some of my customers what they thought of us and why they like using us. And something that came up again and again was was that they, they thought we gave amazing support or words around that. So we came up with the idea of the amazing support company. Excellent, because that was going to be my next question. Why on earth would you call an IT company the amazing support company? Because the first thing that springs to mind, and you know exactly what I'm going to say, when I read it, the first thing that sprang to mind was images of Gokwan and magic underwear. Well, we all wear magic underwear. That's the first thing Do to you? point out. <laughs> Some kind of staff regulation. Absolutely. Every, everyone has to oh, come, totally. <laughs> come, come to work in support times. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the amazing support company we, we were looking at the amazing IT support company but that sounded a bit boring and a bit too obvious and another reason I liked it was because it makes people laugh to be honest with you I go to I go to a lot of networking events and meet a lot of people and I like the fact that um, they have to ask me a bit more about what the hell I'm talking about <laughs> it's a good conversation starter we might or we are starting to look at other services that we can offer so we might go down the road of the uh, the amazing web company or the amazing web video company that type of thing so it gives us a lot more scope excellent <laughs> and we went ma- <laughs> wear magic underwear <laughs> Oh, I've got to come and meet your staff. It's no good. <laughs> Over our trousers. So. <laughs> oh, even better. Even, I can see the logo now. I really yes. can. <laughs> but the only problem with having a name that has something like amazing in the title, I mean, it's a big, bold statement. We are amazing. Mm. What happens if you're not? Doesn't it then give customers who aren't happy mm-hmm. the perfect thing to throw back at you? amazing you are not <clears throat> amazing you're anything but what what happens if it goes wrong well there's two things there this was this was the the point that was raised by my staff when i told them about the name change um the first question was was exactly what you've just said i like to see it as a challenge actually because it, we have to step up to the mark you know if we're going to go by that name and that's going to be our ethos and our, our code as a business then it really does put us under pressure to do that a lot of companies don't give amazing support and you know in occasion maybe we haven't given amazing support but what i think it also does is it again forces a conversation with a client so if someone does ring up and they haven't had amazing support or great support and they're either complaining about something or they're unhappy to me it, in in a, in a slightly sadistic kind of way i like that because i find that the, the the clients who are very honest with me and tell me what we've done wrong or where we could improve or where they think we could could have done something better it means i go away look at the way that we're doing business and the way that we have process and and it gives me an opportunity to improve it and also i then have to prove it again to the customer that's true feedback is essential stuff oh totally and for the last i mean we've been going nine years coming come up ten years and we've I was looking back at how we'd got business and we, we've never advertised in all that time. We've never advertised once. And all of our business has come through referral and recommendation. So I think that says a lot about, you know, what we do do and how we do it. People don't tend to refer you if they uh, if they don't think you're given an amazing service. One of the questions I can imagine people will be asking is, OK, you're an IT company. Are you not simply an amazing bunch of nerds? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Good. I meet a lot of nerds in my business. And <laughs> no. none of the people that work for me are like that at all. And in fact, when it comes to interviewing people that work for me, of course they have to be adept technically and they have to know what they're talking about. But far more important than that to me is their personality. I don't care if I've got two people, one's got every 
qualification that you can have, but is a total nerd and, and can't speak human, as I like to put it. <laughs> And again, this is something we've been complimented about. But if they can't speak speak in, in, in the real world and they, they don't talk to you on a, on a level, then then I don't want them. I'd, I'd rather have someone that, that maybe needs a little bit of training and, and can learn. You know, people can always learn the technicalities. But uh, again, we get complimented on the fact that when people call us up, they have a good old natter with us. We get to know them. They get to know us. And we're, we're real people. And, and you feel that or I feel there's a, a closer relationship because of that. Yeah, I mean, when you say IT company to someone, the first word that springs to mind isn't generally personality. You've not seen my IT company. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, that's that's something that's that's hopefully going to make you stand out. The the last question really has to be support of what? I mean, we've established that it's not saggy tummies or other bits <laughs> there are so many other things we that go are... above and beyond we go... oh, god, oh god that's worse <laughs> but we've established that it's not that so give us a rundown of what it is that you actually do support okay we support all of the very boring things that most people cannot run their business without, which are mainly computers, servers and networks. So we look after, we, we do everything from the installation of the network and the servers to the installation of the workstations to the day-to-day -day support of it to the crisis management when something does go down, as it invariably does. And we also look after mobile devices, email, disaster recovery, business continuity, all, everything in and around technology really. And you do it amazingly. Totally. Jamie Claret, the amazing support company. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.